evening, everyone. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank the, this online forum provided by Professor Jian and his team. I'm very happy to see so many old friends like the Professor Guel from India, Professor Vizali from Turkey, and some other friends. Uh, I'm on behalf of Professor Chao Guangyu and uh, Yu Xingguang to give this speech about the uh, treatment of fixed uh, atlantic axial dislocation with basically imagination by intraoperative head frame traction and C1C2 fixation. Uh, I'm Yin Yihong from the Department of Neurosurgery from the PRA General Hospital. Um, the main problem of the disease is the OCS abnormality and the very passive joint dislocation, which caused the stenosis of foramen magnum and the vertebral canal. Uh, there are three main pathogenic factors, including the anterior posterior dislocation, the vertical displacement, and the other is the decreased clavus canal angle. Uh, third one is often neglected by so many surgeons. So the treatment principle should have included the decompression, reduction, fixation theorem. And treated should be simultaneously at one stage or stage two surgeries. We also should correct the malalignment and improve the clavus canal angle. And uh, the Professor Guell proposed the C1, C2 fixation and uh, uh, we further make the theory and uh, uh, make a research from that the cause of a congenital C1, C2 dislocation is the deformation of the facet joint. So for the first time in 2012, we make a classification of the C1, C2 facet joint. Uh, we can see there are four types of this facet joint. The type one, type four, Type 2 and type 3 had uh, uh, all serious C1, C2 dislocation. Uh, we can see there are inclined frontally of the facet joint. Uh, however, in type 4, the facet joint inclined dorsally, which is corresponding to Professor Gowell's type 2 uh, dislocation. Uh, so the treatment should have focused on the C1, C2, and we used the modified good technique. And after we inserted the C1, C2 screws, we loosened the head frame and uh, make the distraction, extension, and then fasten the screws. We make further the compression technique that achieve the reduction. Uh, this is the video shows how the reduction works. This uh, modified the C1 lateral mass C2 pedicle screws and rod reduction compression technique have a short stage, longer screw trajectory, and that can improve the stability. We first uh, published this technique to, in 2017 in a span journal, and that we make a uh, Modified technique and published in your surgery in 2017. Uh, here are the examples. Uh, this is a 35 female suffered from weak extremity and steady gait. We can see the dynamic degrees that there's no reduction of the aid. Uh, we can see there's a severe compression of the cervical medullary junction. Uh, that's the basic imagination of the C1 assimilation and also the congenital theory of the C2, C3. Uh, we can see uh, in the lateral, uh, that's the lateral uh, side, we can see the high riding with the vertebral artery. We make a large of the both side. This is one side. We can see the, that's the large. Uh, transverse for women, it means the high riding of the vertebral artery. This is the other side. We can see the both shorter, uh, 
killed the mayor of the C2 C3 particles. Uh, so at this time, what we should do? This is a patient transfer from other hospital because they think it's very dangerous to insert the screws. And we make the C1 lateral mass screws and the C3 medical uh, particle screw because it has a C2, C3 few ranking. So this uh, during surgery, we can use the fluoroscopic See that's almost uh, uh, fully reduction. Uh, this is the post operative image you see that is the screws of the C2. Uh, this is the transverse foramen, uh, means uh, good protection of the per, uh, vertebral artery. Uh, this is the post image you see that is the C3 medical screws. Uh, the post CT scan shows the uh, correction of the cervical so, uh, the, the CC angles. Uh, that's uh, relieve the cervical medullary junction. Uh, another patient showed the lecture uh, that's uh, AED based imagination, also the C1 simulation. Uh, she also got the a single malleus and the hernia cerebellar tonsils. Uh, this is uh, a patient also got the highlighting vertebral artery in the right side. You can see the short particles. Uh, the left side is uh, relatively normal. Uh, however, in the switch dimension CD scan, in the we didn't see the high riding uh, whatever. It seems that the pedicle screw is normal. However, in the C, in Axial and the Sagittarius, you can see that in the right side is very dangerous. Uh, how we do uh, in this situation? Uh, we described a novel in our in technique and recently we published it in uh, GNS span. Uh, in this situation, uh, we have uh, in this situation, and uh, we have to use the C2 particle screw to achieve good stability and the reduction. Uh, we make the uh, this situation is like this we make a inner C2 particle medial, and we have to gently remove the dura and we inserted it into particle screws. This technique protects the vertebral artery. This is the post image showed that the red side C2 particle screws. Uh, in this cases, we also used uh, the cortical bone inserted the size of the joint to help reduce the reduction. This supposed uh, image shows that this bone uh, uh, the hardest from the occipital. This is uh, a post operative images. And we uh, correct the ca uh, calaveras canal angle to a relatively normal situation. And after the situation, single medley all relieved. Uh, another case is showed that uh, a severe compression and the cerebellar tonsils and a single malleus. Uh, we use the same technique. We use uh, C1 lateral mass, C2 pedicle screws. Uh, during surgery, you should have noticed uh, the vertebral artery canal and the hypoglossal canal. Uh, we should uh, protect this. Uh, Nerve and arteries. Uh, how to insert the C1 natural mass during situation? And we uh, published in the span in 2014 to describe this situation. Uh, this is the post operative image. It showed that 
that that's a good uh, stability. That's a good stability of the uh, bony theorem and the relief of the compression. Uh, another case is it's a 27 year old male suffer neck and occipital pain and weakness, upper extremities. Uh, this also AED combined with BA and C1 simulation. Uh, this is a first joint. Uh, we use the same technique, C1 lateral mass, C2 particle screws, and uh, to achieve the uh, reduction process. This is the over image that showed that the CC angle was uh, uh, normal. Uh, for some summary, the intraoperative head frame traction tension and the C1, C2 compression fixation is a safe and feasible technique. And we should correct your male alignment and improve collaborative canal angle. For the long term stability, we should focus on the important bone graph theory. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, any question? If uh, if no question, let's uh, move to the next speaker, Professor Professor.